Hey, everybody, we're back in the green room. I am half. You can hear me middays whenever you wake up, right? If you're not getting up in the morning, you can check me out and you can stream it on 97.7 QLZ. What's up? I have them dirty roses. The smell of corn dogs in the air and the sweet sounds of, of their music will be present. The Illinois State Fair, they're going to be there Saturday, August 14th. Your admission to the fair gives you this great rock show. How you, how you boys doing? You guys all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so where are you guys at right now? Are you guys out and about? Are you are still in the road right now already? Yeah, we're about to uh, get headed out on a run going over to uh, Chattanooga and then Kentucky this weekend. So uh, I got to talk about this. You guys are the real deal. You are a true blue southern rock and roll band. It is in the lyrics. There is no, this isn't like a gimmick. This is not like I, I've talked to people who've seen you guys perform. And they're like, no, that is legit. They What they sing about is what they are whiskey and plastic cups and bad breakups and all those things. Like, and at the same time, you guys are kind of cut from a different cloth. You even mentioned the songs like Hank Williams and outlaw country and stuff like that, but you're still very much a rock band. How do you guys maintain that when everyone's going to come at you and say, is this a gimmick? Is this real? Do you guys ever have people say that to you? Like, cause there's so many people trying to be country and trying to be those things. Eh, so much those things. It takes yeah. too much effort to be a gimmick, man. That's way more than, uh, that's that's way more effort than we're putting into this. this is just <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just try to make stuff that you know that sounds good to us. And We've always been more of a rock band, anyway. Yeah. We just happen to be southern. So. Yeah. yeah, that's gonna it, come it out. Across, yeah, it yeah. comes out. I love the simplicity of it. For people, if, if you're just joining us, why don't you just introduce them? Because some two of you guys are brothers, two of you guys are best friends. Just so everyone's jumping in the story if they're just learning who you guys are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Frank Ford. I'm the drummer. I'm Ben Crane. I'm the bass player. James Ford. The, Man, the voice. The brother. Andrew Davis. <laughs> the guitar. So explain to me the brother thing. Do, would, did you guys start together and then you brought yeah, in the best yeah, friends? Is that how it got going? <laughs> See, when a man loves a woman. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but yeah, we... We started playing drums ever since, I guess we can remember. We always had a drum kit in the house. Mm-hmm. Our dad yeah. had a drum kit, yeah. And we, we've been, it's, that's what I play on the road with us you know, to this day is that kit. That's how we learned music. Yeah, I love that, man. That you guys are still, you're playing on the same kit, the yeah. same the same type of stuff. I've had these headphones for three years. I used them in five, like 15 different yeah. studios doing different stuff. It's kind of simple when you, when you take something on the road with you guys. Once again, Saturday night, August 14th at 7.30, they're going to be on the Grand Central stage. You go to the Illinois State Fair, you have a great time. You're going to want to make some time for this show. I know there's a lot of distractions and all these different things. You guys are going to settle into a lane here. When you guys have been on a, a show where there there are some other things, you know, the State Fair has a little bit more to offer, a festival setting. Is there a little bit more of uh, we got to bring them in? We got to we got to get them really early. We got we got to people we got to hook them and because there'll be a crowd there for you guys. But you want someone saying like I've never heard these guys and I want to leave them. I want I want I want to leave them with something special and, and leave them with our name on their lips. Do you guys feel that challenge when you come when you come to something like this? Oh yeah, sure. yeah man. I yeah. think I think of one of the, I think one of the bigger things is like I mean obviously kill the show, but. We got this thing, man. We love to go out there and meet people. We like to talk to everybody and shake their hand and thank them for coming and stuff like that. So we usually end it on a personal note with a conversation or something, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we want to crack a beer with everybody out there. Yeah, that kind of energy, too, is like what we feed off of, you know, the festival kind of energy. Oh, 100%. It just kind of happens naturally. It helps us bring it to the mat. I had I was talking to somebody who enjoys your music. I say I'm I'm talking to them dirty roses. Oh, oh T- TDR. And he was just yelling TDR at me on the phone. He's like, that's so cool. And he's like, they are Motorhead from Alabama. I, I was like, no, Motorhead from UK. He's like, no, this is Alabama's Motorhead. And I, and like when he explained it to me, I was like, it makes complete sense. You guys have cocaine and whiskey. You have whiskey in the cup. You guys have a lot of songs about drinking. And I assume you guys are living the gimmick in, in the best way possible. I mean that in the right way. Has anyone ever come to you and said, like, listen, boys, uh, too many songs about booze, or maybe we need even more songs about booze? Yeah, I don't know. Probably. I don't think so. They're probably scared to tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said it yet. We do have people come up to us and give us, uh, like, their business card all the time. We got lawyers that are always just like, hey, you know, 
I'm just saying, if you happen to go to jail in this town tonight, then I can help you out tomorrow. <laughs> They they're they are pre-selling legal oh, yeah, services right. before you guys even get into trouble. Um, now th- that prompts this question: you you you're gonna, you you you're asking for some trouble when you're rolling the dice like that. Has anything happened where you're like, okay, something we th- this this is a bad story, but this is probably gonna be a great song. Has something like that happened? Because it seems like, especially a song like Cocaine and Whiskey, that that's a bad breakup. There's some different things going on there. You guys have that that tradition of country storytelling in the song. But obviously, sometimes those stories are pretty rough to live through. Nothing yeah. that our biker friends couldn't handle. <laughs> uh, Sadly, we end up in some in some pretty weird situations, yeah. dude. Yeah. You just never know. It just depends. It's a lot better than a reality show on basic cable, I'll tell you that. <laughs> really hadn't had too much trouble with the law, luckily. So. Yeah. Um, the new single is Sunday Drunk. Tell me about this song. I, I've 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 been there. It's it's not the it Friday Friday Saturday more fun. Sunday a little bit harder, a little bit harder yeah. on the body. And yeah. the song has more of a low key like soulful. I wouldn't. I would almost say a gospel churchy vibe to it in a nice yeah, way. That's, that's the thing. Like when we <clears throat> when we come from in Alabama, like we got so many Baptist churches and stuff like that. So, and a lot of our friends and our really close relatives, they still go to church every Sunday. You know, so it's it's fun to think about. I was just with you Saturday night. I know what you were doing, and now you're in now you're in the pew singing hymns. You know, so I mean, it just kind of makes sense to have a song like that. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily too much about that. It's just kind of funny to think about all your friends that you were singing this song to last night or now in church hurting for certain. <laughs> hurting for certain. Yeah, out back <laughs> um, tell me as well, when you guys are, as you mentioned, you're, you're definitely a country band. You have country influences, but you guys are absolutely a rock band. Is there a time when you're like, oh, we can go to the country, the festival, and we can go to the rock festival, and we can go and dance at any party we want to be in because we are what we say we are. Is it, do, you, do you ever see the buck back from that? Like, you guys are too country for this, or you're too rock for that. Do you guys ever see people saying, like, you can't go and do that, can't go? And I, I think that stuff's BS. It happens all the time in music. Oh, uh, but, you try and get put into these boxes, and at a certain point, you kind of just have to say like i'm done with this you know i'm gonna drink a beer with whoever i want to on whatever stage i want to and you, you kind of have to push back a little bit against that sort of like oh man you guys are not country enough for this radio or you're not rock enough for this radio or you're not something enough for this you know it's too hard for this radio yeah. <laughs> too hard for this radio yeah <laughs> it's like two big groups that can kind of morph into one we're right there in the middle of kind of both of them where they overlap in some way, I guess. I like it. You're like a liger. There's a tiger, there's a lion and a tiger. You're the liger of, of country rock rock and roll. I like it. You, you mentioned people giving you cars for legal services. How many people buying you drinks? How many people buy you drinks at shows? And you're just like, this is too much. Can we can we can we have it to go cup? Because we can finish this later. Some people need to explain what they do for a living, man. Because it's just shot, shot, shot. <laughs> Money laundering, giving them money laundering shots to the bar. That's what it is. Oh yeah, we. Anytime there's a band in front of us for support, we'll always we we get the tradition of just like taking a couple of shots up there while they're doing their support gig, just to try and fuck with them. And sometimes it backfires because they they will pay you back like tenfold. <laughs> you'll you'll have ten shots by the end of the third song, just sitting up on stage. And I mean, shit. If it's there, then you we're gonna take it. You know, we're not you gonna don't be rude. Anyway. Someone, someone bought you a shot. You don't come on. That's fireball <laughs> sitting right. there. It's exactly. gonna lose its fire real soon. Uh, yeah, you gotta do it. Yeah. Jaeger bombs, uh, Vegas bombs, whiskey, fireball. And it's like yeah, you just power through it. Yeah. When is the worst that that happened? What band did that to you? You mentioned bands stacking up shots because you you tried to get them during their set. Who did that to you? I feel like the Josephines. We, yeah. We've got an ongoing war where we're always trying oh, to sabotage yeah. each other into oblivion. And uh, <laughs> Josephines are one of those bands. Once again, August 14th, Them Dirty Roses, 730. You're not going to want to miss it. Grand Central Stage. Get it with your Illinois State Fair admission. Go out, have a good time. Come out, get yourself something to eat. 
get, get see the see the wonderful things that Illinois has to offer. Be safe. You know, do all the things you got to do to be safe here as we're working our way through this thing here. Um, is that something you guys have been told about? Obviously, it's different. Every different part of the country is different. A band touring right now, and, uh, you know, kind of. We have this other wave. People are worrying about. Is that something you guys? All right, we got to do this. You know, we're still out there having fun, but we got to do what we got to do to get ahead and be safe to the next show. Did we get told about something every other day? There's always something new, some new regulation in place. But this, all we can do is keep going forward and playing music you know the rest of it is just sort of details head down we're on a mission man so what's what's the, what's the big goal what's what's the ultimate thing that you guys want to do that you haven't been able to do and some bands i want we want to tour with this band or we want to play this festival or we want to do this one thing every band has their own little signature thing and i know i assume for you guys you're gonna you're gonna be having a great time while you do it but it seems like you are a band that doesn't just want to play some shows you want to play some big gigantic shows in the oh, future yeah, am i right Sorry, man. Yeah, man. That's I'm, it. Yeah. Arenas. I want, I want arenas, man. I want that weird wall of cell phones somewhere. You know what I'm talking about? Where you just, everybody's got their cell phone out. The guy who just borrowed your cell phone pulls out a cell phone. You know? I want that feeling. Are oh, you going to the bathroom? Give me your phone. They want yeah, that weird okay. phone thing. I'll hold, I'll hold up two. I'll hold up two phones. Exactly. Time for you. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. All right, we're having a good time here. If you've checked out this video, go ahead and share the link. Pass it on to your friends. Let them know. August 14th, Grand Central Stage, Illinois State Fair. Them, Dirty Roses, are going to be there. It's going to be a great time. Check out their new single, Sunday Drunk. It's out now on Spotify. Thank you guys for the time. Hope you guys had a good one, all right? Yeah, man. Thank Thank you. Good. All right, my cousin's a lawyer, so I'll try and get you his card. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. We'll put it in the stack. We'll put it on top of the we'll stack. We just close though. our eyes. He's got priority. <laughs> you have a jar. Of yeah. All right. Frequent yeah. flyer. 23. 23. <laughs> Who's number All right. Three? Thank you guys so much. Check us out at WQLZ.com.